an InvestView company. You're watching Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm Frank Morano. Uh, John Tobacco will rejoin me tomorrow in studio here in New York. He's making his way up from Florida right now. You know, I was trying to buy some plane tickets this morning uh, because I have to go to California in a couple of weeks. And I found what John was saying to be exactly the case, which is there were very little deals to be had, very few deals on buying airline tickets uh, online today. So I don't know what they're talking about, Travel Tuesday. I think it's a little bit of a crock. All right. This is a story which uh, I find more than a little bit strange. Um, oh, fi finally, this is exactly what we wanted for Christmas, courtesy of the whistleblower. This is our brand new suggestion box. Now, does it have a bottom? Yes, it does. All right. So what we're going to do, what everybody who comes here, whether you're a, a, a patron, whether you're a staffer, whether you're a guest, whether you're the father of a staffer, everyone has the right to put suggestions in the suggestion box. So I am putting my suggestion in there right now. We'll keep it anonymous. And we'll put that in there. Uh, we'll see. Well, maybe in a week or so we'll open it. All right. Well, uh, I know a lot of you are suffering from tobacco withdrawal. So to alleviate those symptoms, uh, John Tobacco actually pre-recorded a segment with uh, real estate titan. Actually, I'm not sure if he's a titan. I'm not really even sure who he is. But he's a pretty interesting guy from what I'm told. Kenny Arias. This is John Tobacco and Kenny Arias from Florida right before John left. Hey, welcome back. You're watching Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm John Tobacco. We're coming to you today. No, not from the Question Tequila Studios. We're coming to you from the Eden Rock Hotel in Miami Beach, Florida. And uh, it is quite sunny down here. And it is uh, quite the time to be looking at real estate down here in Miami with the uh, Trump economy really taking off. Household incomes are up. Luxury purchases are up. Employment at all-time lows. And... Uh, Joining us today to talk about what's happening right here, the epicenter of the 2020 election, Kenny Arias is with us from NetSeekers. Kenny, thanks for uh, well, thank you, joining John. us a little while today. So uh, you, you're a former me. New Yorker. I'm am, a New yes. Yorker. You moved down here uh, for a few months to check things out. And then, boom, voila, you just decided to stay. Right. And uh, it seems like, for whatever reason, uh, the market down here is, is heating up. Yes. So, I, like you said, I moved from New York uh, about a year ago for five months just to test things out. And my, uh, my company was opening an office here in Miami for the first time and uh, I ended up staying. The market here is wonderful. Uh, it's actually, I'm actually doing better than New York. Uh, there's a lot of buyers coming from up north trying to avoid the taxes in New York and um, it's, it's doing really great right now. So uh, last year in New York, there were record numbers of people who ran out of New York. They're going to North Carolina, they're going to Georgia, and they're coming to Florida right. because they're overtaxed and underserved up there. Um, Florida is a lot more welcoming with no state tax. Correct. Is that one of the things that's bringing more people here? I think that's one of the main reasons, in my opinion. Uh, we, we're seeing a lot of buyers coming from New York for that reason specifically. And, I mean, what a better place. It's, it's, it's cold in New York right now, and uh, it's it's warm here. So people love the weather in Miami. It's warm to uh, Florida. It's warm to New Yorkers who are moderate to conservative, also because we have a normal governor here in Florida. We have a Republican, um, and back in New York, we have Andrew Cuomo. We have a legislature in New York that cheers when um, they pass a bill where they can kill babies after they're born. The climate in Florida, to me, seems to be very welcoming right now. I see commercial construction when I come off the airplane. I see cranes everywhere. Residential buildings are going up. What's bringing people, aside from New York and the, the, the exodus from the northern states, what's bringing foreign money here? Because I know this is a melting pot, and I know you speak Spanish. Right. And there's a lot of people down here who are coming from Latin America and South American countries to try to get some real estate here, too. Correct, what's driving yeah. that? Well, that... Speaking Spanish is actually essential in, in Miami, as, as you can tell. Uh, I mean, there's a lot, like you said, there's a lot of buildings going up. The infrastructure is great in Miami. There's like the Saha Hadid building just uh, finished in downtown, 1000 Museum. There's a Austin Martin building going up. Uh, it, it, they just broke ground, actually. Uh, Ritz Carlton. There's a lot of buildings with beautiful apartments that people are like, when they see them, they're like mind blowing. And the, um, the prices compared to New York, too, they're 
I, there, it's like nothing compared to like a luxury apartment in New York. Yeah, well, I don't know about nothing, but <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, compare. I'm comparing, but it's 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 great. Like it's a lot of a little bit of everything that are bringing buyers from New York, but not only from New York, but from Europe also, from South America. It's everywhere. It's like Miami like has a little bit of everything in the world. Tim Henschel uh, from HotelPlanner.com was with us uh, yesterday. And uh, he was talking about how the strong U.S. dollar is kind of hurting um, tourism to the U.S. Years ago when the euro to the U.S. was like $1.80, it was like a 50% off sale when people came right. here. Now, under the Trump economy, it seems like the dollar strengthened. And that's one place where it's almost a negative. It sounds crazy that a strong dollar would be bad. Um, but the strong dollar is probably hurting those foreign buyers coming in here, right? It, it actually, to be honest, we haven't seen a lot of change on that. Because, uh, I mean, the economy changes all the time. It, it, the dollar, it is stronger. And we saw a lot of people coming, like, com coming to the United States to go shopping. But, like, when it comes to real estate, we haven't really seen a difference. We're still getting those buyers coming from, from all over the world. And... Uh, we see, like the other day, I had a client that came from um, from Italy, and uh, Small another guy. One, yes, <laughs> <laughs> but we have the, that. I don't think that has changed much, to be honest. The, we're still getting a lot of buyers from from Europe. So uh, our show is called Liquid Lunch. We talk about liquidity in the markets, all different markets, and uh, we share some liquid every so often. <laughs> we have a little drink. I know the nightlife is crazy here oh, yeah. i'm known on the show for wearing like special suits this is my new york suit come to florida you see oh. the lining I oh got yeah this bad boy. <laughs> and um i don't know if you could see this at home but i got these brown like linen shoes which i thought were pretty cool but you got to see the shoes this guy's got on <laughs> this, this guy's well, a killer I, okay <laughs> yeah I mean, it's Miami, so <laughs> that's just one of the things you're gonna get. Is first of all, he looks like he just fell off a Calvin Klein uh, billboard. <laughs> this guy on top, but he's got the perfect skinny suit on with the three piece. I wish I could wear those these days, <laughs> but uh, you got to go to netseekers.com and check out all the inventory they have there. Check out all the different places where they have buildings. You got to ask with Kenny Arias. And uh, you're going to see Make sure. uh, a guy who knows <laughs> the market's as good as anybody and he dresses as good as anybody. And really, the guys beat me out with their fashion stylings, but this guy even does that. I want to well, thank, thank you. Thank you for all the compliments. Yeah, my, <laughs> my friend, thanks a lot for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you for joining us on Liquid Lunch, but don't go anywhere. we got to take a quick break. you got to watch the commercials because the commercials aren't there. Then there's no show, and then I can't come on and drink for free every day. So you got to stay right there. Liquid Lunch coming back at you right after this. Well, that was something. That interview was actually pretty interesting. I learned a little bit about the real estate market and about what life is like in Florida. I, uh, I'm a New Yorker. You know, the high taxes, the inability to afford a house or anything resembling a quality standard of living, I can deal with it because you get to still remain a New Yorker. Whether you're a New Yorker or a Floridian or anything else, uh, you should keep watching the rest of the great programming on Newsmax TV. John Cardillo is coming up next. John Tobacco will be back with me tomorrow. Comments, questions, email me, Morano at nycradio.com, or find me on Twitter at Frank, M-O-R-A-N-O. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel.